all of you that have watched my videos have noticed that all of my animals are not dangerous. But, what if I told you something that I actually wanted to get something that was kind of dangerous? Well, not extremely dangerous or anything like that, but maybe mildly dangerous. But, I'll go ahead and discuss what I'm really talking about here. For several years, I've been keeping non-venomous snakes, you know, whether it's like corn snakes or um, garter snakes. Well, garter snakes, believe it or not, actually, I found out just a few years ago, um, they actually do have contained, actually, believe it or not, just a little, little bit of venom in them. However, though, it's nothing dangerous, you guys. Nothing compared to, like, maybe a bite from, like, a cotton mouth. Nothing that serious, so... And I have been bitten by garter snakes before, and it is totally not really effective at all on us, so... But what I'm trying to say is here is that I have done a lot of research, you know, on snakes, you know, for as long as, as long as I can remember. And I have been doing homework on some venomous snakes, too, and one of the few ones that I have done homework on were a few of the cat eyes or the boega species, and... To tell you the truth, you know, they are absolutely a gorgeous looking snake. Now, I'm not trying to say I want to add a venomous snake, you know, because of how gorgeous it is. Um, it's just really something that I feel like I would like to show on display, you know, and what one would look like in person. But at the same time, though, um, from where I live, you guys may not know this, but I live in a very, very cold and dry climate. So, um, most of the time it is cool here and it is dry, but at the same time, though, we do have a few months of summer here, so... But, um, regardless, though, um, I do know a few breeders out there that are actually breeding mangrove snakes, and actually my good buddy Brian, by the way, shout out to you, Brian, by the way, he actually has been trying to breed some of his mangrove snakes for the last few years, and he's had so far a little bit of success, which is good, you know? And he managed to actually hatch, I think, a couple of clutches in the last couple of years, I'm pretty sure, from what I've seen on his vlogs. So, um, I would really be interested in actually in possibly maybe adding a mangrove snake or any, even just any cat eye snake species maybe into my um, environment. I shouldn't say collection, you guys, because collection sounds a bit um, kind of overused, I should say. So, maybe like into my environment, you know, like to show... It's kind of almost like my own zoo, you know, but at the same time, though, I eventually, you know, want to start breeding reptiles, you know, but at the same time, though, I feel like I want to also have just a few of them for just display, you know, in general, so, I mean, obviously, one day, I'm thinking I definitely want to breed Lucy, because you can see how big she is, she is, it's crazy how far in the last two years how much she has grown, she went from, like, eight, nine inches long to literally almost already about 18 inches in about two years, and since then, she's just been crushing food, you guys, like a champ, so. And obviously, if you guys look at her, like I said, she's getting big, and she probably is just about the right size to start breeding, you guys, just at minimum, so. But right now, though, her boyfriend, Van Halen, you guys, that I have, unfortunately, he's still too small to breed, so it might not be for another year or two, you guys, until we can actually think about pairing them up, so. That is, my mom doesn't try to kill me about it, so. But um, regardless, though. I absolutely love, you know, all snake species, you guys, whether they're not venomous or venomous, you know, all sorts of those species, you know, but I have considered, like I said, possibly adding a venomous snake, but I'm just not entirely sure which one I would like to add, so, but if you guys have any any ideas on which one possibly I could add on display, uh, I would like to hear your guys' thoughts in the comments below, because, I mean, obviously, why not, right? I mean, obviously, first off, I gotta have a little bit of work to do with handling of mild, any venomous snake for that general, whether it's mildly venomous, highly venomous, whatever the case is, so, um, I'll eventually get to it, though, at some point, but yeah, if you guys have any ideas on any mildly venomous snake that literally make a great pet, you know, I, I would like to hear your guys' opinions down in the comments below, and Tell me what you guys think. Now, obviously, for those of you guys that have been a part of the channel for a while now, you probably may have noticed a video that I did a couple years ago on um, me on telling you guys on why you would never see me handling venomous snakes ever. But now, obviously, like I said, that was probably two years ago, something like that. And now, recently, I'm starting to have second thoughts on it, you know, because now that, you know, I've learned so much about the reptile hobby, you know, I shouldn't say hobby, you guys, maybe the reptile community, I should, that's a better term for it, so community, it's really have, it's really, really showed how much it means to me, you know, and also to do, you know, not just conservation, but education as well, you know, like, to, dis to discuss to people that are curious about these creatures, you know, on, like, what their behavior is and how, 
how dangerous they could be, but how much respect you could treat them, you know? And I feel like I want to sort of kind of maybe do that too one day. Because um, um, I've really noticed that a few people on YouTube, I, I won't say names, you know, not, but, and by the way, I'm not bashing them whatsoever. I've noticed them really have done a great job on practicing on handling highly venomous snakes, whether if it's King Cobras, Taipans, Gaboon Vipers, or any other venomous snake out there, and, and they have done a great job. And I feel like I want to find somebody, or even meet somebody sometime, you know, that might want to actually, you know, teach me, you know, but only to be using caution, you know. Because obviously, one thing's for sure, I do not want to handle a venomous snake with just my hands, you guys, because that's, that's almost, a, in my opinion, a death wish. But, if you do have the proper training, then you get a pass on it. So, I feel like I want to get somebody to, you know, kind of teach me, you know, but to use, you know, baby steps. So, with that being said, though, I'm trying to think about what I could, you know, do, like, if to earn a possible venomous snake, but at the same time, I know a lot of friends that are going to be watching this for family, and for that matter, they're probably thinking I'm crazy about it, but could it happen, though? It's possible. So, and obviously, one species I have definitely have had on my mind, like I said, is mangrove snakes, you know, because there's just something how amazing they are, you know, like, just how their natural defense is, you know, and obviously, they are gorgeous with that jet black and yellow bands on them, but it's just something really something interesting, you know, to share and educate, you know, to friends and family about them, you know, in their natural habitats, you know, and how, you know, even though I will admit that, a disclaimer for mangrove snakes, they're not quite the handleable snake, you know, they kind of prefer to be left on display, you know, and they're kind of more of an arboreal species too, so, I mean, if it was just a little baby or something like that, you know, obviously, I have seen little hatchlings before, you know, they're really, really small, but, I feel like you could work with them, you know, to habituate them to become more tame, you know, as they grow. So, and I, and I will admit, I have heard of some docile mangrove snakes, but could it, could I actually try and accomplish that? I don't know. I've never done it before, but could it happen? There's always possibilities. So, with that being said, though, I just really want to hear what you guys think. If it's, it's just something in my mind that I've had for the last you know, 24 hours, if I should do it, or should I say, no, just stick with what you got, you know, but yeah, nonetheless, though, I really do appreciate all your guys' thoughts, you know, like, whether if you guys hit that like button, subscribe, or even comment down below, I really would like to hear from you guys, too, so, it's just absolutely, you know, a breathtaking moment, you know, taking, trying to take one day at a time, so, again, this thought of me of owning a venomous snake, it might just brush away you guys and it probably won't you know come back ever again so but I hear want to hear what you guys think I also forgot to mention to you guys too that I did drop some new merch actually just earlier this week you guys on supporting US Ark you guys to help fight our rights you know as exotic animal lovers to keep our animals also here with our homes you know because they're not not just pets you guys especially to me you know they're also family so um, it just really is a blessing to have them so do me a huge favor, if you guys really, really support US Arc, the link down below for the merch is going to be right down in the description, you guys. Go ahead and get yourself some merch if you want to. The price is also really good, you guys. And uh, by the way, one thing that's actually quite different about the new merch, there is no limited time on it, you guys. It's just free, however, as long as you want, you guys. So go ahead and get it whenever you're ready. And do me a favor, you guys. Uh, it would be really cool if you actually tag me, whether it's on Twitter or Instagram, or even Snapchat, if you guys want to. So feel free to... What was that? Anywho, you guys, link is going to be in the description, you guys. Go ahead and get yourself some merch. Bagheera, do you think you should get some merch, too? Oh, you don't like my merch? Well, that's too bad. I was hoping you actually want to go buy some. And I forgot to let you guys remind you, too, it's already coming up. Uh, we have exactly eight days until um, we actually leave for our family road trip. Um, well, by the time this vlog goes up, it'll only be a couple more days until we leave, so... Uh, it's going to be really awesome, you guys. Um, I'm not exactly going to tell you where we're precisely going yet. Unless you've seen my previous vlogs from a couple months ago, I may have mentioned it. But I don't remember if I did or not. But I'm not going to spoil the adventures upcoming yet, you guys, for March. So stay tuned for it, you guys, because it's going to be absolutely fun for this road trip. So um, hopefully things go well, you guys, and um, especially for my brother, you know. And keep him in your thoughts and prayers, please, you guys, because he's been going through a lot for the last month now. It's just been really, really hard for him. Very, very sick right now. 
it really would mean a lot to not just me but also for my entire family here too so it really would help us a lot so but anywho though i just wanted to try and keep this vlog positive you guys and try and to you know stay focused on the positivity we could bring up here in, in the upcoming future so i feel like i just really need to let you guys know any day now we are leaving for the trip so i'm super excited again but i don't want to spoil it even though i feel like i should but I can't do it. So, anywho, stay up to date. I'll keep you guys up to date when it comes. And let me tell you, you guys shouldn't be disappointed. All right, people, I'm going to go ahead and turn it in for the night. I've done a lot of talking here on the camera. So, I'm just going to go ahead and conclude it here. But before I go, you guys, I want to again hear your guys' thoughts on you, when you think of any. What type of venomous sneaky you think I should add to my reptile um, area? Like, any kind you guys can think of because I really am not sure because there's a variety of them. I'm thinking of something just maybe mildly venomous. Like I said, possibly a mangrove snake would be a great option, but I'm sure there's a few other mildly venomous snakes out there that would be a great option. So again, it's just a thought, you guys. It might, like I said, maybe it'll just, it'll go away or something like that. But what, tell me what you guys think. So I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. And do me a favor, you guys, if you're new to my channel, subscribe for me, you guys, and turn on that notification bell. And I promise people I will see you on the next one.